the change of investor sentiment becomes much more obvious when you use the T-line as a trend indicator. Up until this point, the Dow had held the T-line and moved up steadily. Today's trading did a bearish engulfing signal and a close below the T-line. That in itself becomes a warning or at least an alert to say the bears have now taken control. When you add the factor that it did it at a level where it topped out before, it becomes much more clear based upon the graphics of candlestick charts that this is where the bears are starting to take control that you now make decisions as far as closing out long positions that are also showing weakness. When the S&P 500 shows the same results, as well as the NASDAQ, the fact that the selling occurred in all the indexes at the same time and they all closed below the T-line that's a strong indication that it's been a major change of investor sentiment. That's not necessarily meaning that there's going to be a full-scale selling, but at least the probabilities now indicate there could be a pullback, which if it only occurs for two, three, five, seven trading days, any long positions that had option trades involved tells you you're going to run out of time and premium on those options, but this becomes a good indication that anything that's starting to look weak, you close out the position. When you're trading options, note in Netflix, you had a strong uptrend. It sold off hard, and it closed right on the T-line. This makes it a much more easy analysis for a candlestick investor. Because we know that if it opens lower tomorrow, which would also probably be a function of the market trend in general, that uh, you close out the position. So to stay long in Netflix, it needs to open positive and trade positive, indicating it was going to stay above the T-line. NVIDIA gapped up in the overbought condition, did a bearish harami. And now it's closed below the T-line. That tells you this uptrend is over. You should be out of any long positions, out of any, out of any long calls, and or you might consider starting to go short. So this provides an opportunity or the uh, probabilities that if the market might be selling off, you have much better prospects on looking for short positions, as in CLAX, K-L-A-C. Notice that it sold off, bounced back up to the T-line, and sold off again with the prospects of doing a wave one, wave two, wave three bearish J-hook pattern. This becomes a high probability short, especially when the market's not showing any bullish resiliency. Utilizing the T-line adds credibility to pattern setups that reoccur in human nature. For example, in the Cleveland Cliffs chart, you can see the J-hook pattern setting up. It never could close back below the T-line. And you had a little inverted hammer with a high probability positive open telling you the probabilities of positive trading after an inverted hammer signal gives you probably a 95% uh, probability or greater that you're going to be in an uptrend. That adds to your analysis that if this is wave one, wave three is likely to take you up to the 200-day moving average. Our recommendation on MYOV last week was based upon the little J-hook pattern set up after the message. Message is a doji, strong gap up move, but it didn't trade positive at the end of the day from where it opened, which is profit taking. So what we're looking for is when the profit taking is over, which was illustrated by the morning star signal right off the 200 day moving average. And how long can we keep this position? As long as we don't see a sell signal and a close below the T line. These simple rules can be applied to charts that have the reoccurring 
process of human nature, showing us where the high probability uptrend will remain in progress, even though the market in general is trading lower. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat room.